What up, I'm Marie Keller. Welcome to my Diary of a Painter. This is my outfit for being the model in the painting. So I got some translucency. It's got green and reds, well, pinks in it. Some velvets, which will be fun to paint later on, but that's like hardly thrown in the painting yet. What I'm gonna be focusing on is the hand and the arm. That seems the furthest behind in the painting. I was just studying it and being in the, the pose and seeing what I wanna be working on first. Now, I haven't worked on this painting in about two months. I always find it super intimidating to go back to a painting that I have started that I haven't worked on in a while that I've taken a break from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of ease back into it. I'm gonna mix up mix up my palette now and I'm going to mix up a lot of colors that are already on the painting in the area that I'm going to be painting today even though I want to be pushing the values farther and lighter but I'm going to start with what I have on the painting and then kind of slowly build up the values because I'm not too exactly sure where it's going yet so that's that's the plan. And I'm going to oil out the area first with oil gel that I'm going to, just the area that I'm going to be working on so I can see the colors better to mix the palette. Okay, setting up my palette. Titanium white. Yellow ochre. Um, I normally use cadmium red light, but I'm going for a more non-toxic palette. So this is Sennelier. This is Sennelier red, which I feel like is very, very similar. It seems like it's slightly more cooler, but only slightly. And then ivory black. So usually when I start a painting, I keep my palette super limited with just these four colors. But I can't remember if I started adding more colors in it. I'm going to put my other two colors on just in case. I don't know if I'm going to use these or not. So this is ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson. And I might need to keep putting up. I don't know how timidly I'm going to paint or not since I haven't done this in a while. Um, when I'm more confident, I like to like be putting down paint really thickly and opaquely. So this might not be enough paint. I might make my piles bigger, but we're just gonna start with this and see what happens. I'm definitely gonna need more paint. Also, this Sennelier Red, I'm new to using this and I've used it a couple times before and it's definitely doesn't have as strong a tinting strength as cadmium red light because cadmiums are super powerful so I always have to keep like going in and getting more red because I'm used to the really strong cadmium so I'm going to put more paint on my palette. Much better. Here is my palette. I definitely have 
have mixed up more colors when I was working on the arm than what I have on my palette right now. But since it's not where I'm at and I want to especially make the arm brighter and correct the drawing, I'm trying to simplify it more. So I've got the shadows going into um, the lightest light that I have right now on my arm, but I'm definitely going to make brighter ones. <clears throat> and then I've got the t-shirt the color and then two really basic colors of, of uh, green and a kind of reddish pinkish color that if I'm correcting the like sleeve area here, I can do that to, you know, like correct the arm here. And then also the water right now, it's just all mixtures that I've already have on my palette is what I've made all of this. So it's kind of really not specific right now. It'll get more specific later, but yeah, I'm gonna just mess around with it now and start painting. Session, but I feel good about it now like getting back into the painting um, so basically I just worked on the arm I think the next time I work on it I really want to get into the hand so that makes much more sense but really I was just working with value and structure structure being first but value is so intertwined with structure um, I know the arm is looking funny, and so fixing, making things wider or, sh or wider or thinner, longer or shorter, or whatever, it um, value also contributes to things looking bigger or smaller too. And so those are the really big things that I'm focusing on. And then if I can fix color or temperature, that it goes in there too. Like for example, like I. I found that when I was working in this area, everything was looking too warm and that was a little bit distracting, so I cooled it down a bit. But that's really secondary to just the, the value and structure. Still a long way to go, but it feels good to get back, back into it. So here's what my palette looks like. So um, I've got my background colors here, the flesh tones, and I, the shadow before was here and then I went a lot darker and that makes a lot more sense. The shadow making um, more sense in relation to the, the black slash dark green in the sleeve here. So still a lot to mess around with it but trying to keep my palette fairly simple right now. And yeah, I'm just focused on structure value and then color. So I'm not thinking about interesting paint strokes yet. Just trying to build up the other things first and then as I start to get more comfortable and then things start to get more complex and subtle that's when I start to do more interesting brushwork and that type of it but that definitely comes later <laughs> 